2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn Built to Serve Edition. So you get the black bumpers, black grille, black headlights, 4x4 off-road package that so you get the better seats with built to serve exclusive trim. You get all the all-weather mats, front and rear. So you're getting about four to six thousand dollars worth of accessories on the built to serve edition without necessarily having to pay for them because it's a it's an all-in-one package especially the four by four off-road kit which gives you all of the off-road skid plates four by four auto axle lock hill descent control those stuff Normally you can only get axle lock and hill descent control on a Rebel. Yeah, also you're getting black headliner. Uh, now in the Canadian edition, I don't believe you can spec up to the 12 inch touchscreen. You only get the 8.5, but still, I like the symmetry of this console better like this. You get some exclusive built to serve badging. And the other exclusive built to serve is a metal safe. I just don't know if I'm a truck guy. I like how it drives. It seems to have better handling than the last Ford I drove in. I've never driven a Ford, but I've ridden in one. And I don't like how wallowy the front end is on the Fords. Uh, this Ram seems to handle a lot better. And you got a lot more rear cargo area, but it's still not quite big enough for me to sleep in. Cami 5.7, 2021. Twenty eighteen Durango RT Hemi V eight. Drives really nice actually. And the size fits me well for what I want to do. Kinda like all the features. Performance, tow rating, interior style and technology features. It's got the older dash though compared to a twenty twenty one. It's got fairly old tech, but it's got lots of it. Uh, it's got heated and cooled front seats, heated rear seats, uh, heated steering wheel, park distance sensors. Pretty good SUV, I like it.